Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello. Um, so from the title you can see that I have been in a rut and now I am trying to get out of it and I think I am pretty much like almost there but I thought I would maybe make a video and share with you a few tricks and tips of how to try and just pull yourself out of a rut um, and for me personally it has been more like creative motivation and trying to be more proactive productive and just coming from an actor and performer um aspect and um i guess point of view um i have been in a creative rut recently um and trying to find motivation in order to basically Put myself out there a little bit more keep making um things that i enjoy um keep being creative in loads of different aspects writing whatever it is um to, to get me to where i want to be is what i have been struggling with and so these are just a few things that have kind of helped me and tried and tested almost and so i thought i'd share with you some ways I've been getting out of this rut and so I have written them down if you have been watching my videos for a very long time you will recognize this little notebook this is where I keep um all my ideas so metaphorically being in a rut is when you are in a habit or a behavioral state where it's like dull and unproductive and it's hard to change you're just keeping going on this like road or rut um and you just can't get out because it just feels almost like autopilot um it is monotonous can be really boring and it feels quite like a negative space and you are just trying to find positivity in small things but sometimes it is really really tricky and difficult um and sometimes it just takes I don't know why I did that. I thought of it before I said it. Um, sometimes it takes a little bit more like to pull you out of there. The range of being in a rut can be from like a tiny little rut to like huge, um, like so deep. Get me a shovel, help me out. <laughs> um, but the first thing I have to say is li literally just give yourself time. I guess sometimes it's good to um acknowledge that you are feeling a little bit drained a little bit unproductive and that is okay you just have to give yourself time to realize it and then slowly process how to get out of it um understand where you are mentally physically emotionally um and where you want to be so i guess where you are now where think about your past and then think about where you want to go into the future um that sounds very like big thinking but at the same time it's quite nice to have that i guess meditation or that pause where you can just sit down and breathe and just be in your own space and body and mind and just take a pause give yourself time to be like you know what i am accepting that i am in a rut i understand that this is really difficult to get out of um it is okay to feel how i feel at the moment and at some point this will not be the case i will be more positive at some point and this is just how i'm feeling now and also remember to talk to yourself positively i mean this can be really tricky and practice makes perfect but you should always remember to talk to yourself as you would a friend sometimes the things that i'd say to myself are so self-deprecating that i'm like would i even say this to a friend the answer would be no treat yourself like a friend say positive things self-affirmations give yourself a hug um give yourself those good nice hormones self-love uh, another thing especially if it is a creative rut in terms of being a performer actor a creative person um consume creative content that you can 
pick out inspiration from sometimes it can be quite tricky depending on your mindset because you could be like oh man I wish I wrote this oh man I wish I was in this man I wish that I was as good as these people and that is when you have to go no don't compare yourself to other people just take out that this is incredible I want to be a part of it how can I be a part of it um consume creative content so that you feel inspired to be able to make similar content or um, draw from it things that you want to use hopefully that will help inspire you and spark some sort of positivity whether that is oh this was really good i really enjoyed that or whether it was like ah oh, you know what this has inspired me to write something or journal about something or um paint or draw um go for it do it even if it's just one line as an actor sometimes i say to myself man i have to watch this because it'll be really good to watch um and then other times i'm like you know what you can't always be doing homework you have to give your brain a break and also de-stress because i know so many people tell me like who i talk to and aren't necessarily actors they do say oh there's so much to watch i need to watch so much or they say oh why haven't you watched that you should watch that because you're an actor that's your industry you should know your industry but then also yes you should know your industry but at the same time you can't be expected to have watched every single film documentary tv series podcast um tv show um short film indie short film you can't be expected to know literally every single thing and do things little by little and also remember to watch things that you enjoy you don't have to watch things that you really don't enjoy and that is okay because that is kind of heavy and pressurizing and if that happens then you just have to like take it in and be like you know what I'm gonna do what I want to do and every single time I watch something I can't always be like oh this is homework I have to watch this and watch it in that mindset it's good to take yourself out from it but then enjoy it and then take time to reflect on it afterwards um, whether it is from your creative actor persona mindset um, or from just a consumer mindset who enjoyed it or didn't enjoy it another thing that i have been absolutely loving are podcasts um i go through a journey of podcasts all the time in terms of genres people i listen to an amalgamation of lots of different things and i have to say the ones that i've been loving are girls got to eat uh that one with grace beverly i can't remember what the name of it i'll leave them over here somewhere why won't you date me and also pod crushed is also very very good i also love um off the menu uh jay shetty it is an amalgamation of creative of course they're all creative but in terms of like um like girl bossing being great bosses um also mindset relationships fun and entertainment Oh, How to Fail with Elizabeth Day is also amazing. Uh, Self-motivating podcasts as well. Some are for, just for entertainment purposes. Some are great because of the guests are also creators and actors. Um, it really depends on my mood a lot of the time of whether I want something really deep and emotional, something uh, light-hearted and fun or something light-hearted and fun, but I'll also get something from it. Um, I think those are some great ones that I'm just going to throw over to you and hopefully you find one that you enjoy and like uh, and find motivating. A lot of the time they're really good to consume when you're on a walk or at the gym uh, or just around the house doing the washing up. So talking about going for walks and the gym and washing up, move your body is the next thing i think this is just one of the small things that you can do whether it is literally just doing exercise going to the gym going swimming whatever exercise means to you um or it could be like stretching literally every single morning i wake up and i stretch it could be literally just like 
mm, or it could be literally yoga poses, a uh, downward dog, child's pose, whatever you want to do, whatever feels good. Or I do love a little um, dance around the bedroom to a song. Sometimes moving your body creates those endorphins, gets you to stretch out a bit more. Your body and mind are connected, so um, if you move your body, maybe you'll feel a little bit lighter, fresher, de-stressed, more flexible. So you get those endorphins going, um, and then that is literally just the smallest thing that you can do to help um, perhaps pull you out of that rut uh, very slowly but surely. I think a lot of the times these, I don't want to say methods, these little things um, have added up to be a bigger thing. So start off small and then build yourself up because Rome wasn't built in a day, they say. Also getting out of that rut doesn't always happen in a day. Sometimes it's like, ah, oh, I've woken up and I feel amazing and more motivated now. I've done with being negative. I'm so ready to be positive. Sometimes it's like that most of the time, not so much. And so little things build up. Even if it is just a small stretch here and there, they'll build up and hopefully help you out of the rut. I also think that talking to people friends, colleagues, family members, a therapist is very, very helpful. Sometimes like journaling and writing things down is also great. So then you're just spilling out your thoughts onto a page when creative writing is a good thing to do. Um, so that will maybe lead to that in journaling and writing out your thoughts and feelings, but talking and expressing how you've been feeling or getting feedback from people or just listening to other people is helpful, especially if you are friends with people who might also be in the same industry as you. It's really nice to have that empathy rather than just sympathy. So empathy, the person has gone through the same situation and so feels towards you from a point of having been through the same experience. Sympathy is just feeling for the person having not experienced um, the exact same thing or similar things. Um, you're just drawing on things that might have happened to you um, and trying to put yourself in that situation. Whereas empathy, you've been through the same situations. And so having that support network or people who can empathize with you and understand how you're feeling is great. And then there are times when you can also go to the people that support network who um, are sympathizers uh, or could also take you out from the whole industry in general and talk about other things so that you're not constantly like bogged down with industry stuff, if that makes sense. You might be an actor, you might want to disassociate yourself from the acting industry for a little bit and so talking to friends who are like teachers or do something completely different to you uh, like um, being a doctor or a nurse or um, electrician sometimes can help just stop you from going down the rabbit hole of acting 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 oh the industry is doing this so I must be doing this it'll just take you out and away from that and then when you feel ready to talk about acting stuff again it's good to go back and talk to your friends about it. The main thing that I realised which is super super important is to kind of reevaluate things that give you joy and the things that don't. It's kind of like that um, organisation method that Marie Kondo, I think that's her name, has become so popular in terms of going through items of clothing or items around the house and th holding it and thinking does this give me joy if not throw it away if it does keep it I think that is something really helpful in life where you can think what is actually bringing me joy and focusing on it doing it continuing with, with it and then what is not bringing me joy think about those things and cut them loose, cut those ties, maybe push them to the other corner of your mind or just stop it 
in its tracks. Sometimes it's easier said than done, of course, but just think of those things that you want to continue doing and think of those things that you want to stop doing. And then from there, you can choose how to go about continuing those things and how you would go about ending those things that don't bring you joy. And that is something that I constantly have to remind myself, like, is this fun for me? Am I enjoying it? Am I enjoying life? What is being really stressful and what is consuming all my energy and I can't wait to give it up? And those times where I have to sit down with myself and think about those things that are, things that make me have fun or, make me smile or get me excited or feel that joy and energy I I have to remember that if it's not going to be fun for me and I'm not going to enjoy it then sometimes it's okay to let those things pass and it's okay to say no to those things um I constantly have to remind myself that and sometimes it's nice to talk to those friends who are able to empathise or sympathise um, and those friends who give really good advice and remind you also to think is it worth it? is it making you happy? because at the end of the day it is I don't know about you guys but for me happiness and love and excitement and joy is what I endeavour to um achieve even though like there are other factors of life that i want to include throughout my life i want to strive for happiness and enjoyment so i hope that you have really enjoyed this video i hope that it has been helpful and hopefully after this you'll have maybe one or two things that you can pick out and do to help you out of your rut I know it is so much easier said than done, of course. It is always cyclical for me, honestly. There will be times in life where I feel so motivated to do stuff, so productive, and then other times where I'll just be like, I can't be bothered, I can't find the energy, where is the motivation? Someone please tell me. And so I just want to say that you are not alone and there are always always people around you with support and words of wisdom and you are not alone in the horrible feeling of having been in a rut so don't worry don't stress you've got this if you have enjoyed this video please subscribe it would mean a lot and give me a thumbs up hit that notification bell and i will see you next time bye <laughs>